Hi. Hello. Uh, this is Unchatter. Um, I don't know if I've... Why didn't I even change my title? Um, hello. Good afternoon. <laughs> I'm perpetually pulling levers and twisting knobs and never knowing how things are working, so... Uh, I hope you can hear game music. Of course, it's pod right this moment. Um, hi. I'm Unchowder. This is Unchowder. We're Unchowder. We're Unchowdering together. I don't know. Um, we're playing Dwarf Fortress. Um, I could just go ahead and pull this up here real quick. Like that. Yeah. Uh, I think it's Rick. It's been a week since I've played this fortress. So I need to take maybe a moment to remind myself what's going on here, but that'll be a good opportunity for us to kind of recap. Oh yeah, uh, we had some fire imps get in and <laughs> this dock is still on fire. Um, we're slowly cleaning all this up. There's so much just junk down here. Silly cave layer. Um, the main thing that we were working on was cleaning up all this. Which, you know, there's only a couple of dwarf corpses here now. <laughs> it was like a dozen. Uh, not that long ago. So... Uh, yeah, the trash is going here. We have a big dump project going on. Um... And that's going here. Let's actually... I'm gonna undo the dump task momentarily. And then come down here and we're gonna pull this lever twice. Just to dump the stuff that we already have here. Because there's all these cavefish people. So I don't know where to put volume and stuff, so... Hoping the music isn't too loud or too soft. I don't know. I don't know. Um... But yeah, we'll, we'll pull that lever, we'll do the garbage, and... We'll go from there. Uh... Food situation is... Fine, thank goodness. Um, we have... On the withered cave, we our people are being too. Uh, I think I'm giving them too many jobs. But <laughs> I I want them to clean all this up, especially. I want to get over and clean up some of this too. Um, but that'll be a minute. Um, look at all this mud. Kind of glorious. This used to be a lake. Um, so we we've drained the lake. Hooray! Uh, we're gonna work on walling up the sides of our cave. I think that's a good idea. Um, not even much on these sides. There's a tiny bit here. Uh, might as well. Might as well close it off. Um, one of those, and these are granite blocks, and then this we'll have to unforbid so they can move them. That's fine. And over here, there. We'll do the other stuff first, and then we'll we'll make another loop. Um, and then here. Um, I'm gonna mine out this row so that we can build a wall here without having to do weird things. Um, and we also have all this. Let's let's clean this up. No, not lock. Unlock. Um. And they'll, they'll just naturally put those in the corpse pile, so that's fine. Um, why did... Oh, they're down here. Um, 
Um, we have these taken care of. There used to be there's a lot of corpses there. Anyway, if I go up here, this is all fine. Our pump stack worked pretty gloriously, I think. Um, they turned down my volume a little bit. Um. Yeah, did we pull this one? I don't know that I even care. That was mostly just to... Whatever. Um. Gonna unpause. Mostly... Checking around what's going on. We have some glass to, to build here, but hopefully some will click on that. More ant corpses. Um. On our squads, are they... Here, Did everyone come back. Oh, we're missing a spot. Hi, Kat. Um, I'll put into wrestler, novice wrestler. That's fine. Mm, novice swords dwarf. Sure. Um. So that, does that mean they came back from their mission? Yeah, raise gang raids. I don't think I've looked at this yet. This one yet. Like we sent two of our squads out um, to go attack uh, gang wraiths, which is a, a goblin site. Um, Dip ceiling, which is us, attacked the ignition of plague, which is the goblins of uh, an unknown civilization. Uh, dwarf Zolban, the row basements, the glove peaks of squirting, uh, led the attack. Defenders were led by goblin. Toad Respect Fly. Um, Zolban outmatched the goblin with a cunning plan. The attackers had a strong positional advantage. Uh, dwarf. The word of Attic. Huh. Attacked the goblin. Goblin's right eye was torn out by Methos Brother Dykes. Um. Goblin struck down by Methos. Forces of the Contingent Seals searched gang wraiths and found nothing. Hooray! Okay, that's fair, I guess. Uh, forces rampaged throughout gang wraiths. Okay. Was it still here? Gang wraith is still here. Now we know there's nothing. So this is us, this little green square. And this is where we raided found nothing um we've also we've also done hatred pleats that's the other one we've done right yeah hatred pleats um maybe we'll now we'll go a little further abroad there's like a hundred dwarves here or goblins sorry the jade seductions um Right, so. Well, these are our dwarven hillocks. That's cool. Oh, the goblin hat. Goblin hamlet. This is a human hamlet that goblins took over. And then. The guilt of dooms. Hmm. Okay. Um, I want to. I want to check on our squads. Uh. Let's go... Go here. I assume they're training and stuff. Wait for dodging demonstration. These are all... Oh, that's right. I told all of my... All of my, uh... All of my civilians should have, like, an, a, a weapon now. <laughs> I told everyone to grab a weapon and a shield, I guess. Uh, because a forgotten beast got dangerously close to the inside parts of our fortress. Um, so now everyone has them. Um, now where's... Where are they? <laughs> um, I want to check out their equipment. I should fiddle with their uniform a little bit. Like, look. 
Um, so if we do, I assigned them all clothing, but I'm just gonna I'm gonna remove, I'm gonna remove the clothing bits, uh, pants and gauntlets and mittens and socks and. Shouldn't be two gauntlets, right? Items. Unclear. Um, so, breastplate, mail shirt, helm, greaves, boots, and gauntlets, right? And where? Gauntlets. Material. Deal. Uh, just. What if we do that? And then if I assign everyone just steel. What if I do that? What happens then? Then I tell everyone to, like, station over here. Right? Yeah, there we go. Okay. Hopefully they can figure that out. Anyway, merchants have left. Did I trade with them? I don't remember if I traded with the merchants. Too late now. Uh, constructing certain goods. Low boots and anvils. Who's wanting anvils? Our mayor. Our new mayor wants anvils. Have this messenger. Don't know what to do with. Um. Well, like here, here you are. No. Oh. You. No. Well, there's activity here. That's for sure. Uh. Right. That's uh, anvils. Wanted an anvil? Two anvils. So greedy. Low boots already here. I'm not gonna just crank out steel anvils. We'll do iron. We have so much iron. That's fine. Um, okay. So you are storing. We'll have two boots. We... Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> Got a bunch of bolts there. And they're gonna... They'll figure it out. We'll let them be for a moment. And then if we come down here, we add, we have, do we need more barrels? Are we out of barrels? Are we out of wood? No, we're not out of wood. Are we out of empty barrels? No, we have some empty barrels. And why is this stockpile full of other things? Things not in barrels. Put the things in the barrels, please. Um, well, we have a bunch of cave wheat. What if we make just a specific cave wheat uh, oh, uh, uh oh. Uh, okay. So this is food. Um, but 
you take nothing except for a wheat. Plain. And then you do not take a cave wheat. Just a swarm of flies. Okay. Um and then you can have those. Okay. Maybe that will help. Let's go check out this. Oh, we have ant people, but we're not closed off all nicely now. Mm. Well. Yep. They might just run into these cage traps here. Into the cage. There's one, two. Oh. No, there's more coming. Uh, red. Not into the lava. Where are you going? That's not a safe way to go, people. There's a bunch. Is there anyone out here? I guess that's the real question. If I close this door, am I stranding anyone? Let's see. Do we have. No, it's not turned on. Station order to being inside here. And then I'm going to tell them to close this gate. Oh. Uh, and of course, it's way up there. Should relink all those levers. Oh, and this got pulled. That's good. our fingers here. We do have two weapon traps up here before they get into the actual fortress area, so... Uh, completely defenseless? Yet? Oh, and he got in. Whoa! 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 Whoa. Uh, there's a bunch more stuff here all of a sudden. But these... But the toads and... Crocodiles in the ohms? I wonder if they're gonna fight each other like last time. Okay, well. Uh, I just saw a dwarf go up. Where? Where was a dwarf? Oh, did you. How are you. Do ants fly? Ants don't fly. How are you doing that? Uh, oh, giant rats. Oh boy. They're just... This is all together. Wow. Uh... Well, that's cool. <laughs> um... Still, still needing to be pulled. Um... Hopefully we get some soldiers showing up soon. Yeah, run back inside, please. Wait, who are you? You're our dungeon master. But look, I mean, at the on the plus side, you actually have a spear and a shield. You're not completely defenseless like everyone has been up until now. That's too many things. Soldiers, where are you? Lever puller, where are you? 
and see all this in progress construction that was for this or this kind of a situation. Oh, I didn't quite get there. Um, I assume there's people still stuck over here. Yeah, you're stuck over here. You're stuck over here. I don't see I'm not being murdered presently. Things are coming to you, though. Okay. And then you, Captain of the Guard. Soldiers. Milker. Someone's going down to the cage trap. Well, that's not exactly what I need right now. Minor. Peasant. You pick up equipment. Oh boy, okay. Okay. <laughs> um Well, I'm going to forbid these cages so that people don't come down trying to do that. That is not helpful to do right now. There we go. Okay. Oh, you even saw... I think we flung a, a crocodile. Does that show up at all? If you pull a... If you raise a gate while something's on it, it kind of gets flung about a bit. I think we just flung a crocodile. Uh... Flung that. And... Crocodile. It slams into the worker. Yeah, it just got flung a little bit. Um, there's still a bunch of stuff inside, but at least now it's half the things, not all the things. Um, this will be bad. I'm actually gonna... We're gonna tell their station order to come, like, back here. Not that it's gonna matter, they're just gonna come inside. Close this one too. I don't want them all coming in. Uh, our champion and the militia captain. Like, yeah. You have. Our champion isn't really wearing stuff. Um, I think the smart move is to close this gate. While we muster our people? Oh. Are you an actual soldier, Swordsdorf? Uh, you're in one of our actual squads? Okay. And this is just just a blowgunner. Are you going to be able to take it? Oh, okay. You got a blowgunner, at least. Don't stand on the gate, please. And... Fine. What do you want? Can't you see we're busy? Okay. Thank you for holding the line, but please, yeah, don't stand on the bridge. Oh boy. Hold? Oh no. We lost one. Uh, being timid? I don't, I think they know that there's weapon traps there. They're all just to start hopping. Are they riding the cave toads? How do you tell? This kind of seems like they're riding cave toads. 
which is kind of amazing. If they weren't in the fortress. Um, random cage there that someone dropped. Um, soldiers, maybe, somewhere? No. You? No. You're just... You're not in any squad. You're, you're just a guy. Uh, pick up equipment, pick up equipment, pick up equipment. Okay, well... Gonna be a minute. <laughs> um... Theory, this job is still there. Oh, are you doing it? You're pulling the lever. Okay, perfect. We don't let in too much here. Um, there's ants in the forge. Um, are they going up at all? They mostly just went down. Okay. Hey, we made an artifact. And they claimed as a personal treasure. Okay. Well, then it's not going in the artifact room, is it? Uh... Random potash. Okay. So, we're, we're at least sealed up, um, but now... Yes, both the things. All the things. That's all of them. Uh, 11 targets, okay. Kill various. Uh, interesting. How did I... How did I just discover something down here? Fire snakes. our magma tube, obviously. Wow, that's way down there. Oh, no. <laughs> um, are you okay? Who is that even? You're like, you don't even exist anymore. But you did discover a, a magma sea. That's cool. Good on you. This is so far down. What the hell? Um, yeah, that's unfortunate. Someone's in the lava. Don't know who that is. Um, and of course, these are probably like my highly skilled people here. Administrator, messenger, not so much. What's going on here? Did someone did someone just get in? Just take a dive? Yeah. Uh, there are holes in the middle of these workshops, I think, that people can fall into. Um, so I, I think we just lost someone. This is a dangerous place to be fighting. I'd rather that not happen, but here we are. Yeah. Um, what else? What else is happening here? Um, fine, fine, fine. Um, 
Uh, and hopefully... Hopefully no one can, like, climb down here now. We did chop down all these trees, at least. There's no... Really no way down right now. There's no paths for them to try and take, so... That's good, at least. Um, merchant? Are you trying to leave through here? It's Mark's dork, at least. Why is... What? What is... <laughs> what is happening? Okay. Hammerdorf? Is this... No. Uh... No groups. These are... These are merchant, uh... Guards. Right? Isn't someone in our... Civilization. So they were trying to exit through the cave, I guess? And then I closed the door on them. Um, but now they're here in our stairwell. Yeah. Okay, so this one's actually a uh, one of ours, but they're still going to go pick up equipment. Kill various. Excellent. Please kill various. Various is in the fortress. Here we go. I don't know what all this smoke. Something got something flammable got pushed into the the magma. This is this is one of ours. Um, right. Tomes of opening is. Yeah, number one. Of course, you aren't wearing anything. But you're in a martial trance, so that's cool. Uh, probably not good. Um, you're working on it. Do we have any more coming? No? Euler? No? Okay. Um, well, they all appear to be on this level, at least. Some frogs and crocodiles now. I say just. I don't know what's actually the <laughs> more dangerous stuff here. Ants have weapons, but they seem to go down pretty quick. Uh-oh. We're just seeing more here. That's fine. Um, and of course, there's all this stuff in here. Did these die? Hopefully they ran off. Oh, there's one there. The champion is still here. I don't know if... Oh, no, and, and they're there. Okay. Oh, boy. Red. Okay, we at least got two soldiers here. Now our militia captain is throwing a, a tantrum. Planter found dead. Okay, now just no one, no one take a bath. That's really the thing. These crocodiles are kind of squirrely. There we go. Maybe, yeah. Still something to kill, right? Oh, you. Ah, they found you. There, okay. 
no more. Yeah, yeah. Where's the rest? You want to sneak out? <laughs> if they'd killed them all, then there would be no order left there, which means something's around here. Keep an eye on you. You seem to be going for it, whatever it is. People can be so angry, I just don't understand it. Oh, there it is. There's a crocodile. There we go. Okay. So now in theory... Only lost one. That's could have been worse. Um, uh, do, do, do. Yeah. And then if I look at your equipment, there's a lot of green stuff at least. Working on it. seemed like it worked. Um, the book. I wish I could go to the unit from the squad menu. That's kind of a thing I'd like, but you know. Um, all the miasma in the throne room. That's fine. Um, we're going to get a whole bunch of job Cancellations because... Oh. Bloom and Dire Shop tipped over by Zilgar. Zilgar. Why must you do these things? Uh, workshop. Did I have, like, special... No, okay. This is the weird... Yeah, okay. And you're just... Doing nothing for now. But that's fine. Um, did I ever hook this up to a thing? It is disengaged. Okay. Which means it's inactive. Perfect. Okay. Well, now we have more corpses to deal with. At least they're... Near the garbage pile, I guess. Um, there's a bunch of stuff in here, right? Where did it all... Yeah, there's stuff down here now. Um, including corpses. Someone's bracelet. Someone definitely fell in. They've been incinerated, so, um, we'll deal with the ghost when we find it. Here comes more. I have upset Cave 2. Cave 2 was in stasis for so long. Everything was fine. Um, okay. I want to give them all a chance to... Things up and put corpses away. Um, need pearl ash. Melt designated items. Well, we don't need to do the melt stuff right now. We have so much. We have so much. We have such bars. I might just cancel those melt jobs entirely for now. Uh, let's see bars. We have 150 iron bars. So much. So much. Okay. And a bunch of coke, even. Okay. <laughs> and a bunch of soap. Okay. 
Um, I'm going to come in here and find our melt job. All right, just um, make smelt mill. Where are you? Melt. Just gonna stop you. Prevent some cancellations on it. I'll help a little bit. Um, kind of wish I had a longer trap corridor here, but. It's gonna be hard to retrofit that while it's all dangerous like this. Mm. I think what's gonna have to happen is I'm gonna tell everyone to station. It's gonna take them a while. We'll give them the order and they'll figure out their uniforms and we'll we'll go from there. Um I want to do this. The idea here is to, to force things to come in and path around and over these bridges before they can come in, and then if things are on here, I can just pull the bridge and, and dump them into the lava. What are you doing? Why are you climbing on the wall, maybe? That shouldn't be how that works. <laughs> Three part makes sense. Um, that's a lot of bats. Are they writing bats? Ants on bats? I don't like that. That's terrifying. Um, bad with words, not easily depressed. Things on flying mounts don't fall into lava. That's that's gonna be a thing. Hmm. Okay. Well, the danger has passed for the immediate moment, at least. Okay, let's see here. We're all gonna just complain about everything. Weaponsmith, damn. We probably a weaponsmith probably fell into the lava. Lish Captain. Oh, oh! There is something in here. Um, are you gonna... are you gonna be okay? Are you... which... which squad? You're just a... you're a civilian squad. I guess we'll... we'll see... we'll see who wins here. It'd be cool if you just took care of it. You're both, uh... Both unconscious. Oh look, a forgotten beast. Okay. Sodor, huge eyeless salamander, has a knobby shell and it squirms and fidgets, but where its poisonous sting. Hmm. Well, that's in cave two. Oh, well, actually, that's kind of helpful. Maybe it will... it'll fight the ants. That's fine. I'm okay with that. Um... I care about this fight here. Then... Ability to stand lost. Like our dwarf isn't doing good either.
Combat log. Show me. Where? Where is this? Oh. <laughs> Forgotten Beast already, uh. Have an at it. That's fine. This is us? Yes. So. Soldier Ant punches the militia captain in the head. Soldier Ant punches. Okay. Soldier Ant is just wailing on an unconscious dwarf. Hmm. Oh, because the blowgun broke. Catches the militia captain in the head with the blowgun and breaks the blowgun. <laughs> um, okay. I think you might need some help then. Let's go... Something tells me you're going to stay unconscious. Yeah. They're both unconscious. It's ridiculous. One soldier is all this needs. lost. Was that our... Uh... Yeah, okay. Does someone want to take care of this ant? Oh, here we go. This is how you get ants. More stuff down here. Yeah, this... This cave is nonsense. Glad we've kept it sealed up until now. Probably... Probably missed out on a lot of fun in there. There it goes. Dead ant. order here. It seems like they're figuring their gear out slowly. Yeah, they're, they're getting there. What are we missing? These are greaves. We need some more greaves. That's fine. Two steel greaves. We'll do we'll do ten, so we'll have some extra. Um, no, one-time order, but we'll size them for cougar people, as is tradition at this point. And then we'll have some paints. Um, and once they've gathered a little bit there, then hopefully we can clear out the rest of this. I don't want to have to fight next to the lava. That's be really risky. Um, do you have a helmet? Tell them to get helmets. Um, they should have helmets. Oh, that's how you go. Oh, okay, that's cool. You have a helmet. You are basically naked. <laughs> you are basically naked. They're figuring it out. Um. piece, maybe? A little water skin? Okay.
Hmm. Oh, I also want to make more squads. That was ultimately where we were going with this, and then we lost like 50 people. Anyway. Um, resume. We have a lot of just calling jobs to deal with, don't we? Um, right? Ugh, sorry. Uh, Zolgar. Making everyone upset. Oh, fine. Uh, can't convict Thine of anything we could not. Um, okay, I'm curious about our Forgotten Beast. Um... care of it. Your name is just Sodor. Doesn't mean anything, just mean Sodor. Giant rat has guzzled some dwarven rot wine. Why is there a giant rat inside? Why was there wine outside? Maybe that's the question. <laughs> hmm. That's funny. So that's fine. That's fine. Interrupted by a giant bat. Oh! Are things inside the portrait? Okay, well. Are you... We station over here instead. You just didn't get the memo. Look, some dogs. The dogs take care of the bat. Maybe. No. Okay, here comes our squads. Oh, killed a dog. That's unfortunate. Okay. Yeah, okay. Get the ant and the bat, maybe? Okay. Cool. Okay, hold on. You are getting too far. Confirm. Kill the bat. Anyone else want to sneak up through here? I'd really rather you didn't. I don't know how that ant got up. Um, I'm going to station you all up here. In case that continues to happen. Um, yeah. How's our Forgotten Beast doing? Having a grand old time. What are your uh kills? Twenty-four kills. All of them have been here. I wonder if this this tab will update live.
Nope, I guess it doesn't. <laughs> 27. Yeah, that's 27 ant people we don't have to kill. Okay. I think I can't fly. Too bad. Skills. Um, well, I want it to be a dwarf. All right. All of our humans are at the top here. Um, yeah. That could be our champion. Dungeon master can be. can be you. Why not? Um, so one of you clearly needs a bedroom assignment. militia captains. Okay. This is... Someone was eating cheese roasts on the throne? Um... Is anyone working on cleaning this up? Storing child. I guess I could see you falling. No. I'm not much of a decision maker, says the ten year old. not full. Mm. Hello, hello. Uh, we have, we have ants. 
I have a slight ant problem. Um, this group here is stuck between two of my doors. So they're like inside this area, but I've closed closed the way further in and uh, closed the way out. So now they're stuck here. There was an ant crisis, and now I, I think this is just a continuation of the same one. There's a forgotten beast running around down here, too. If I can find it. Hopefully taking care of the ants. One problem kind of taking care of the other. Uh, but nevertheless, we do have ants. The ants made it into the area where I was trying to build something to take care of them and make it safer, so. Kind of kind of in a catch-22 with that. Here, at least. Um, I was trying to get my squads to be outfitted. I was messing with their, out their, their uniform a little bit. Nope, oh, that's not the right button. Um, I'm going to tell my squads to come down here. Mostly wearing things. Um, and who else wants to be a guard? No relevance. That's fine. dead dwarves. Not sure how that happened. We at least have a handful here. I really don't want to fight a bunch of ants next to lava. Uh, that was the wrong button. Up here. And then pull. Um, but, you know, there's only so much I can do here. Um, I'm just going to open this door, but I'm going to keep them stationed here. And then hopefully we can fight things as they come, come in this way. I don't want to go out here to fight them. They're going to do it on their own, of course. Um, are they still over here? There's... Look at this. I am pretty sure that these are ant people riding giant bats. Which is just terrifying all on its own. Okay, here we got it open. Stuff going on down here. Okay, you're just going for it. <laughs> uh, well, the fact that the red is running like that leads me to believe that maybe you'll be okay. Hopefully. Um, everyone, just stay here. Don't, don't go adventuring. Just sit tight. Okay, you took care of that. Very good. I think they're just gonna... they're gonna trickle over. Oh, they're still down here. Yeah, here they come. Slowly, slowly. Through all the corpses. These ones came in, like, I'm pretty sure they were riding the giant toads. Before I was watching ant people and toads fight, these ant people showed up with toads. 
and cave worms and crocodiles. And they were friends. <laughs> it was worse. Pretty sure one of our... No, someone's going to try to come down and cut these now. That's fine, whatever. Um, pretty sure one of our weaponsmiths dodged into our lava. Okay. The ants, I think, have been dying faster than the, the cavefish people. Don't wander too far. Yeah, riding crocodiles. Pretty sure, right here. Um, okay, militia captain throwing a tantrum again. That's fine. Yes. Deck. Okay, yeah. I'm cold. Don't, uh, don't get too extended. Crocodiles take longer to kill than the ant people. Ooh. It's our woodcutter. Sorry. Or dungeon master. Okay. There's some corpses down here. Please leave the crocodiles alone. Leave the crocodiles to the people with the axes, please. <laughs> it's just a pile of crocodile teeth. <laughs> okay. That seemed like most of it. Is there anyone else running around down here? There's a one... One over there. The one down here now. I think it's just. I think it's just this one. Oop. You can kill that, then you can all take a break. You know, that's the only thing that motivates you. No reachable valid target. Hmm. It's stuck between trees? Did it stand there so long that a tree grew? Uh. Or did it climb down the tree? What's this? We'll just we'll station over here and see if we can piss it off enough to <laughs> come out. Coax it out of hiding. No? I'm just gonna chill there? Gonna have to chop down this tree just to get to the ant? so much combat is happening. Um, it's just... Okay, that's all fine. Want more quivers? Ugh. Okay. Well, now that we secured this area at least uh let's work on this i think this
Mm. And in theory, people are going to come build these walls, maybe? Uh, making greaves, good. The wrestler is fighting. That all happened. Puppy, dead puppy. Uh, Axe Dwarf has gone berserk. Wish I saw that earlier. Uh, is everyone okay? Oh, there's a body here. It's not the person who went berserk. Who done it? I mean, Zuglar was doing stuff, that's for sure. Zuglar are... No, not that one. Not that one. How did we... We keep losing people. Broker. Wrestler. Who were the berserker to the ants? That would be cool. If you could do anything with berserkers other than run or murder them. Uh. Oh. Ooh. Level 20. Okay. Um, have us. What are you doing? Have us. Uh, when was it? Neither of those. Interesting. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Uh, well. Still got corpses. How's our tomb area going? <laughs> These all assigned already? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We have one coffin. Oof. Um, carpenter, this is stone workers. I'm making blocks. We probably don't need more blocks. Uh, was this just... Yeah, we're, <laughs> we're good on blocks. Uh, bed throne, hug or bars. Deep two, graphs. Uh, granite blocks. There, you can stop. Good. We have like a thousand granite blocks. Surgeon is throwing a tantrum. Sidbrick, Kivish, Keshskull. <laughs> Socializing in the middle of your tantrum. Okay. Rah, rah, rah. Everything sucks. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, hey, Tim. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> yes, Twitter. <laughs> at least you're... At least you're throwing a tantrum in the waterfall. Just take a cold shower.
Thibrek sitting in a hallway under a waterfall, just dejectedly water pouring on head. Someone walks by, says, hey, hey. Throwing a tantrum? Yeah. <laughs> Now's bedtime. <laughs> This forgotten beast, oh man. Where's your, what's your kills at now? 41 kills and a notable kill. All this has happened here. <laughs> uh, this water is the most beautiful damn thing I've ever seen. Oh, hey Tim. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, hey, and we got this. Okay. Well, that ant should be gone. Um... Let's take out your order. We can all go have fun. I'm going to send them out on a mission uh, again at some point, but um, I'll let them rest a little bit first. Um, rivers and anvils. Our, we've got a new mayor, and our new mayor wants anvils. I I don't need to be sitting here making a million animals. Well, that's cool. That's fine. Mm -hmm. I don't know if anyone's actually taking trash out. I hope they do. Oh, we can... Got some of these trees taken out. granite blocks. Oh, because I... Oh, that's weird. Okay. <laughs> Will E. Dwarf? Yeah. While E. Dwarf. Yes, yes. Um... That'd be kind of funny. You could technically drop anvils on people. It would take a bit to find that. You could set up a... You make a little one with hallway. Put a pressure plate. And you hook the pressure plate up to a hatch on the ceiling and just put a uh, stockpile with an anvil on top. But, but hilariously, what we're describing is a stonefall trap, which is an actual thing. Stonefall trap. Literally, they just. They're one tile traps that drop boulders on things. Use. Use boulders instead of animals. <laughs> uh, okay. Waiting. They're going. I do want to dig out this one. Um. Don't know why I made these two. I think I want to. Just this a little bit. That. Let that come up, and they'll come up through here, and we'll put some more weapon trap stuff here. <laughs> Just a, a tumbling anvil coming after him? That'd be funny. Um. Is that what I want to do? I'm... I don't... Um... Yeah... Needs unrotten stuff... Oh, how's our... Here. Does this help at all? Kind of. We're trying to separate our food stockpile into, like, some constituent parts to make sure that it has room. We need a cheese pile specifically soon. Is 
cheese fit in barrels? What I don't really know. It's all dimple dyes. This isn't food. Um, oh, we're saving. But I can make a specific stock stockpile for the dimple dye. The dimple cups already have one of these small ones. But if I put the dye down by the clothing stockpile. <laughs> I don't know if I want just a barrel full of liquid cheese. Like an entire cask of Velveeta. <laughs> All this wool. Um, okay, let's do. Get up here. Except this is technically a food stockpile, but it's only going to take milled simple dye. And then you, uh, <laughs> you're welcome. Uh, hold up. Okay. Of course, that's just more hauling jobs for my poor dwarves. Oh look, a siege. Um, anyone outside? are some people outside. Um. Checking that our, uh, uh, what you call it, our burrow is up to date. I'm going to tell everyone to get inside. <laughs> um, this is all fine. Yeah, that's all fine. It looks like we've updated this recently, at least. Yeah, this is all fine. stack is safe. Not that they need to go in there much. Go ahead and just do that. Did that not? Oh, it doesn't work across levels anymore? Used to, used to. Uh, this is mostly pointless, but doing it anyway. There's 226 people, but like 100 of them are dead. Um, okay, so 
then we'll come down here and I'm going to station my dwarves here. Seems like a good mustering point. And now we should check out the goblin situation. Who are you? Baron of Granite Plunge. See. Oh, there they are. Here they come. That's a that's a handful of goblins. Trickling in here. Um, okay. Cancels everything. Forgotten Beast is still going at it. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> you got oh you got a uh, I'll I'll allow it. You got autoplanned. <laughs> oh, that goblin died. And now everyone's a little more nervous. <laughs> they they were gung ho. They're not no more. Oh, and the Snatchers. <laughs> they made it in. Then they got spotted. That's funny. Uh-oh. Okay, well... Now the fighting's over here. Just don't get separated. There we go. That was effective. Poor goblin got blown apart. Jeez. Uh, whoops. Did I see someone sneak away? Someone... Goblin Poet. This is... No, this is one of theirs. Are you gonna come over and fight? I know you're just a poet, but you are attacking, so I'm gonna stab you. Or not. Are you not an attacker? <laughs> Visitor has come to perform. Heard the bread of smiths is a place to enjoy oneself. But you are part of the Crested Flies. This is the goblin civilization that has been attacking us. An outcast from the League of Speakers. You pre you're an outcast from a league of that you're the leader of. A former member of flies. You're an outcast from our seizures. Yeah, just act, just happened to show up at the exact same time. Also, the Rapid Vice is a great place name or site government name. Doom of Trails. Infusion Fellowship. Former building caretaker. Former prisoner. This storm. This their goblin. This goblin has a history. And because it's a visitor, we can see, like, actual thoughts and stuff. Uneasy dwelling upon being caught in the rain. Learn to value decorum. <laughs> yes. They're all, they're all good. Uh, in performance, fondness, remembering making a friend. 
became more prone to stress. Remember making a friend, watching performance, discussing a problems with a friend near a waterfall. Okay, well, welcome, I guess. As long as you're cool with all the corpses of goblins that are on the ground right now, then you can come in. Um, hello! Uh, we just repelled a goblin siege. <laughs> now there's just a bunch of garbage on the ground again. Or still. There's so much crap around. We're never going to clean this all up. Just guts everywhere. Just someone's leg. Yeah? How's it going? I'm assuming by the ellipses that it's going very well and everything's fine. <laughs> uh oh. Walls. Oh, we should turn off our burrow. Yes, we're good. Um, this is all still fine. You can resume. You can resume. Yeah, and then here we go. And then I want to do... Yes. And then... Yeah, that'll be fine. I want, I want to be able to get down here still, I think. Moose men? Great horned owls. Moose men sound amazing. I've never seen a moose men. Were they great horned owl people or just great horned owls? Or giant great horned owls? Because those are all things. Uh, can I place there? Yes. Oh, that was not what I meant. You cancel. Just normal great horned owls, yeah. Um, I imagine the moosemen did the more the bulk of that damage, but fly. I mean, just normal flying birds that are aggressive can really mess you up sometimes, even if they're not deadly, uh, like directly. Just. They will interrupt everyone. They will. Be, they're so disruptive. Um, yeah, like ten things that can't kill you and one thing that can will still kill everyone. Here, man, moose men must be huge. Um. Mayor. More <laughs> anvils. We don't need anvils, Mayor. Of course, this forgotten beast is just roaming around down here. Fine. Everything's fine. Oh, I should check my throne room. Oh, good. Okay. We managed to seal this off again. Good. Uh, ban on exports. That's fine. Can someone please deal with these corpses? I know there are way more jobs than there are people right now. Did you have... Were you able to seal yourself in? You Like, early game, I usually, like, make drawbridges and... Drawbridges and cage traps are, like, the good early early fortress security measures, I would say. Um, yeah. Like, you can see my, my early entrance. This is my... My, the second entrance that I made, but my first entrance was just this little hole in the wall. There's a gate here, so you can seal it off, and then we have some cage traps. 
and that was it. And then when when things show up and they're too scary, you can just you can just raise the drawbridge. Um, drawbridges are probably like most reliable. I don't know. Um, I like drawbridges because they're basically invincible. Um, things like like traps and doors and those kinds of things. There are enemies that can just straight up rip them off their hinges. Um, but because bridges are constructions and not buildings, they aren't affected the same way by things that can destroy buildings. Um, or they're not affected, basically. Um, but if you want just like a real quick run down, if you got a bridge, basically you're, you select which direction it raises. Like when it's down, it's it counts as just a floor and people can can walk on it. Uh, but when you pull the lever and then it raises, it will create a wall. And this is how you determine which direction that wall faces, basically. And then this one is um, the bridge will just retract so it doesn't create a wall at all. But this is a raised bridge right here. It would usually take up this footprint. Um, so I raised it like it was down. And I raised it and went that way, and it created a wall on the, uh, whatever, the west side of, the, of its footprint. Um, so this is a wall, and until I pull the lever again, it will continue to be a wall. Uh, but then you can just pull the lever, and then it goes down, and then it's a, a floor again, basically. Um, but you, you build the bridge first, and it'll be built in the, the down position. And then you build a, a lever. Um, the lever... Levers are... Machines. Yeah, so you build a lever. And then... Like I have all my... I have a little... Little... Uh, little control room kind of a situation here. Um, all my levers. Um, so then you, you find a lever and you can just say pull the lever. And that creates a pull lever job for someone, and then someone comes over and pulls the lever. You build the bridge, and then you build... Where am I going? Here. Uh, zoom, please. Build the bridge, then build the lever, and then link the lever. Those are those three separate tasks, basically. Um, but once you have the bridge and the lever made, you can go to the lever and you can start, you can do a linked lever or link building thing from there. And then you just choose the thing that you're linking it to. And then there's a, a mechanic will have to come by and actually link them. But once that's done, then it's done. Cancels milled plants too depressed. Everything's fine here. Um, yeah, no worries. Uh, as always, there's like caveats and, and edge cases, but that's like the bulk of it, I think. Uh, but between, between that and cage traps, like early fortress defenses are usually just those for me. And then as you develop more, like I got weapon traps here. But like my those are all made of bronze. You gotta like have a forge industry going before you can really crank those out. Recruit has gone stark raving mad. Uh ooh. My god. Who is my god? Soldier caged. Why are you in a cage? <laughs> uh, Havas. Was that? And that wasn't even who we. We have two? We have two dwarf cages. Why are you in cages, dwarves? Um...
How do I fix this? I... I think you can just build the cage, right? Let's do... Cage, and we'll put you there. Uh, can I search for dwarf? No. Helmet snake, troglodyte. Dwarf. Bat, long helmet man. Human. Is there. Why do I have people in my cages? Uh, giant wolverine, cool. Yeah, I think... Why are there... Why so many dwarf cages? Um... We'll see if this lets me do it. Um, I think if you build it, I know, so I know that if you build it, you can like hook it up to a lever and you can pull the lever and that releases the thing. But I want to say that if I build, if I build the cage, then I can probably unassign them from the cage. We'll see if it works that way. Why are you in cages to start with? That's what I want to know. Because they're not... Visitors, right? Guests. The only chained person is Zahn, which that's on purpose. Caged wild animals, naked mole dogs, helmet men. Those are all caged on purpose. Why? Soldier caged. I wonder they're not putting their uniform on. They're stuck in a cage. Sign. Does someone have to come let him out? Are you okay in there? But obviously not. The only reason I knew about them is because someone went stark raving mad. to let out these people? Maybe, maybe not. There's Picard. Well, if Picard has gone stark raving mad, maybe he should stay inside. There we go. Okay, so you can do that. You can build a cage and you can just unassign them. Welcome back, Picard. Running around battling. Get back in the cage. Um, and then now we can just disassemble these. And then the cages will go back in the stockpile. Helmet snake. Fire imp. Fire imp in a wooden cage. And yet, it doesn't know how to get out. No one tell it. <laughs> um, oh, and look at this. This 
So it looks like this trick still works. Um, so this is an archery range. This is a this is for training archers. Um, set up as a as a zone, right? Um, squads are assigned to come and train archery in here. Um, apparently, the way bolts work is if, you, if a dwarf fires a bolt at someone or an arrow, for that matter, and it hits a thing, like a, it hits the target they're trying to hit, or it hits you know a goblin, or it hits a wall, that will destroy the that will destroy the ammo. But if the ammo falls a level before hitting the ground, then it doesn't, is my understanding of what's going on here. So these are these are bolts. So this is, uh, you know, uh, archery targets and then two channels going down one level, just in front of and behind the archery targets. And these are shots that people missed, but then, or, or maybe even hit for all I know, um, but then because they fell a full Z level before hitting the ground down here, they didn't get destroyed. So we we're conserving our ammo by with these little troughs here. That's a trick I learned a while ago. Apparently it still works. Um, Zon, guilty after being confined. Um... Yeah, do we do we want to let Zon go now? Is it is it time for Zon to leave? Um, signed and chained. Cause he's not a. If I tried to expel him. Yeah, visitor is ready to leave. I'm sure he is. Uh. How do I? I'd like. And do it. Probably the best way. I believe I told Zahn to go to our our, our holdings. Uh, so he's going to be still in our civilization, right? Uh, he's in all of our guilds, too. Um, former militia dwarf. But he's still in... He's not still... Oh, so we, we expelled him from our site government. But he's still in our civilization. A former member of a lot of places. There. Okay. Goodbye, Zon. We'll build another rope here. Uh, pages and points. Rope chain. Goodbye, Zon. Um, how is our hospital doing? This is looking okay. Action benches. <laughs> Need traction benches. That's fine. How are we on? Like wounds. That's what we really need. Furniture burial. Nope. Please, people, make the things. to our stone workers. Everybody does this. Um mm, that's interesting. Mm. Magma tunnel maintenance accident. Yeah, it's true. You wouldn't even need magma. You could just put uh you could just put bridges in your uh your dungeon right just put like a an, a an upright bridge on the edge of every jail cell and then uh just pull the lever <laughs> um okay high doors yeah Um, 
pearl ash thing keeps getting caught up, but I think... Soul Glar. Yeah, okay, so now all of our dimple die is here. Cool. Um, I told this one not to take Eweed, right? Uh, plants. Eweed, yeah. Um, I'm gonna make a cheese stockpile. Since we have a lot of it. Uh, food. Cheese. Oh. Cheese. None. There. Look, more cave fish people. Oh, they're sneaking in off the side of the map. Let's take care of those real quick. They'll, they'll just multiply. Confirm. Release the magma. I've seen people... I've never done it myself, but people will make... Um, Essentially, magma cannons uh, for for their entrance situation. Magma, mag, magmaqueduct, magmaqueduct. Yes. <laughs> um, but yeah, jeez. Uh, you can basically pump magma up to the surface and make a little reservoir. And I mean, you can drop, you can drop magma on people. You can, uh, but you can like push it through a bunch of like fortifications and just fry people on the other side. I saw a gift just the other day of, uh, I guess they have like a, a hole in the ground essentially, um, and then the magma just came in from the side and just it like went down a little u-bend and like basically just flooded up into the grass and and turned the outside into a pool of magma as people were trying to get in pretty cool uh more oh there's a bunch there found them Show up one by one. Okay. <laughs> Fish dead. That was everything, right? Yeah. Okay. So go ahead and stop. I am curious. They all I mean look at all that. You all have your clothes on? You need a steel helmet. More, are we needing more helmets? What's happening? Hmm. Let's see. No relevant skills. <laughs> We've burned through our uh, our wrestlers. Competent lasher. green. Um, everyone has helmets, supposedly. At least assigned. No? See? Bronze helm. Um, okay. Keep losing armor because people keep dying and like getting fried alive and plus we want to make more stuff for um 
I want to make some more squads anyway. Um, let's do this. And then... Heal Helmet. Pants, probably. I think that's still Greaves. Uh, I wish I could, like, expand this and see what they actually have. Mostly the male shirt and the, the helmet is kind of weird. Not too bad. Did you all... No? Okay. You're done. You can leave. You are dismissed. up here to him. Get in there. you back in you a visitor no excuse me we've kicked you out did I accidentally let you back in former militia dwarf yeah squad none you back in. I wasn't paying attention to all those migrant waves. I didn't realize that they could come back. I didn't think that was an option for them. <laughs> the ants let him back in. They're so nefarious. Letting in the minor inconveniences. Um, okay, so that all happened. Um, right. Earlash's happening. Just needs to be put in the stockpile. This huge block stockpile that we have. Or, yeah, bar stockpile. Um, and our anvils. Oh boy. I don't know why all of our clothing ended up in every single stockpile, but I'm gonna do. Um, okay, so they're working on these. The idea is people will come in through here, and I'll have to come down through here. And I'll have to walk along bridge and we'll we'll make a little connector bridge here too. Um and walk across here. But then I can like shut them in, right? I can I'll put a gate here and I'll put a gate over here. 
to trap them on these bridges. Uh, surgeon's throwing another tantrum. Um, and then I can, like, drop them into lava when I want to. Um, so, to that end, I want to do... like that. And then... Okay, so then do a bridge. So now I want to do this. So I want to make a wall here, basically. I'm going to do these four squares, and we'll have it raise west. I'll do like that. That way, and then the same thing here. Nope. And yeah. I'm to. -ta. I make kind of a little corridor here. And we'll fill that with weapon traps. Trap, weapon trap, right over here. Um, I've been, so you can put any weapon in a weapon trap, but I've been making... Um, there's weapons that are for that specifically. Oh, that's a lot of... You have 128 bismuth bronze, bismuth bronze spears. I assume that's from all the fish people. That's a lot. Copper, 130 copper spears. Anyway... Uh, 128 bronze spears. Here we go. Um, large serrated bronze discs and spiked bronze balls are what I've been making my traps out of. I think traps can have up to 10... Oops, did I just... Up to 10 things in them. Uh, so I've been doing five of each. We'll just plop a couple down here. clothes. That's cool. Um, things misplaced, the food stuff, throwing tantrum, eat pearl ash. Doesn't 
left's going there. Just not getting... Someone's... Someone's trying. There's just too many hauling jobs. stairwell here. Um, so maybe I'll build a roof here. Maybe put some traps in here. Um, and if some if something is flying, if it's in the same Z level, just because it's technically flying, it'll it will still hit all of the, the traps there. If that makes sense. Um, let's do let's do it like this. Let's do construction floor. access to oh have we we've cut ourselves off that's yeah okay <laughs> okay um I want like a way through for me or do I even care it's just do that for the moment. Those are all going to get cancelled and then we'll have to redo them. That's fine. Um, well, Griffin, I guess you were going for a drink now. Uh, Tombs? Do we have tombs? Nope. Okay. I'm gonna prioritize the coffin. See that they're all... I'm only working on rock doors. things going. I... Yeah. Cancel you for now. Don't need two of those. Um... Coffin. Coffin's coffin. Coffer. Keys. We are making coffins. We were shortly ago. Accidentally cancel our coffin job. Rock coffin. Um, and I want like a lot of coffins at any one time. Yes. I want this like prioritized. This uh, 
There used to be a, just a send to top button. Put it all the way up. <laughs> These make coffins for all our poor dead dwarves. Immediately assigned. Um, and we have space for a bunch more. Are we digging anything? I don't know if there's anything we're working on digging at the moment. I'm also, like, this was originally going to be all, uh, mining hall. I think that might be too much overkill. So I might just remove... Room for something else here, I guess. I don't know what else we would build. Um, yeah. And then all this engraving. What happened to our engravers? We have engravers. Okay. Part is doing other things. Okay. Picking up equipment. You're just leaving. Okay. Uh, mayor. The anvils? Three anvils. Can I make, like, copper anvils? No. Oh, that's what we need. All of our dwarves are equipped. Or at least mostly equipped. Um, okay. So, uh, we make a floor like this. Oh. We can use this stairwell to get up. Um, now we can go through here. And then we put more more traps here. Because why not? Trap. Weapon. Uh, 
we'll just do one for one more for now. That's plenty of plenty of job for them for the moment. So all all of those weapons individually. title for my stream. <laughs> I'm real on top of it today. I just put in Dwarf Fortress as the title because I knew I was going to title it something. And then didn't, didn't finish. <laughs> Let's say a king is visiting. Still a caged person in a berserk rage. Where are you? You here. Okay. We still have we still have a caged dwarf. Uh Um, okay. So I was looking for other who's our visitors? Baron, diplomat, Baron, Baron, King, Zolban. Not the same Zolban, right? A different king than we had before. He's the king of the dip ceiling. Old band Dune script. Dune's crypt. Hmm. I like it. Now you're just leaving again, aren't you? Does sound sandy. I wish you would just live here. I'm to pray at the shrine of influences. Again, these are guild halls. I don't know who you're praying to up here. Okay, well, I guess I can't fault the king for being at the capital. Just wish he'd, you know, emigrate and stay. Mm. This all looks like it's going fine. Slow, but fine. See, they're making all that stuff.
There, bridge. thing. Um. Mm -hmm. Power. Uh, control shift D. <laughs> it's got a notification about a, how a random red panda is fighting. Pretty sure it fell out of a tree. So actually, that's very plausible. You get, you do get a combat notification for things like falling and striking the ground. Um, like if you have a cave in, you'll see you'll see a combat log of of, of you know dwarf fighting gravity and rocks and such. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's very possible. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, we have auto farm running, and I just want to make sure it's doing what I expect it to do. Uh, let's do. Status. Auto farm is active. Um, I have everything set to make 200 of everything. Um, so we have 246 plump helmets. We have 100 dimple cups. Um, what about everything else? Uh. Where's Where's rope reed? Where's cave wheat? Thresholds, that's for me, yeah. What if I do auto farm run once? Do anything. And fuse. Like, let's look in here. Uh, we go to plants. We do have cave wheat. Like, where's we have no pigtails. And Auto Farm decided it's winter, so we can't grow pigtails. Okay, we're only we can only grow dimple cups and plump helmets. Okay, so maybe it's only showing this season's work. Interesting. Okay, so I'm I guess that's okay. You're okay for now. Zoom. You're gonna need a pot to stand for that, or? Maybe it's fine. Uh, construct. I'll just, you know, consistently complain about people having too many jobs and then continually give them more jobs. Everything's fine. It seemed like things weren't able to spawn on top of walls like this, so I'm... We're gonna... We're just gonna do the one le level and see if that's enough. To keep out the fish. Not 
that's uh, we'll get that eventually. And down here too. still so much water in here still slowly draining but geez and here we can build a wall here construct wall things can't just come in off the map right here now. I think that's helpful. Um, and then we're forging all sorts of things. Very cool. Making bars. Making pearl ash and it's not getting moved to the stockpile. Fine. Making glass. Okay. Some of these things are working. These, clearly, the size of the bridge kind of dictates how many materials are needed. I don't know what the how it breaks down, but like this, this bridge was made with two blocks. This one has a scroll bar, scroll bar, and still isn't done because it's big. Um, being worked on. Everything's fine. Oh, there's some fish down here. They are, they just like hanging out on the edges. And they kind of, they sneak in and they kind of go in towards the water. Why we, we had like 300 fish people. Uh oh. <laughs> you need to leave. Oh, it's going to be minor. Miner's gonna get cornered here. Leave! Out! No, I don't. Stop. You just. You got a kill, didn't you? You've killed nine cavefish people. Please don't die here. I would like you to continue mining and killing fish people. Cool, actually. <laughs> you did it. <laughs> uh, if you just keep running, please. Or just keep killing fish people. That's also fine. Oh, this is down here. Oh, you're still running around, aren't you? Sodor. How many kills do you have now? 62. And a named giant bat. Keep up the good work. You seem fine. Oh, Zolgar. Uh, yeah, go go to the hospital. It's fine. You did you did what I asked you. Um, you, Maestorf. It's 
I say, do you have nothing but stitches? We are actually wearing things. A lot of stitches. Knee, ankle, shoulder, hip, elbow, knee, elbow, wrist, leg, leg. You've been around, haven't you? Surrounded. Okay. We have two. There's a third one coming. Every time you think you got them all, another another one pops up. for other places. Some of these are for ant people. No, not this one. They are basically murlocs, yeah. Um, oh, we had more... We had more show up here. These are fine. Okay. I think we're okay. Keys. Yeah, they... You pull them in packs, that's for sure. If I could keep teach my dwarves such advanced techniques as... Split poles and... Oh no. Dwarven child is throwing a tantrum possessed by a ghostly weaponsmith. Uh oh. Uh. This is even. This this child is an expert weaponsmith because uh, she created a uh, an artifact weapon, and now she's being possessed by or no. The creator of an artifact weapon has possessed this child. Got it. Possessed a one-year-old girl. Okay. Well, Melville needs a slab. Um, Dark Souls Fortress. Honestly, the dwarves will pull away from damage. I wish. I mean, they do dodge, but not. Not quite that well, I guess. <laughs> um, I haven't done it in a while, but one of the old things that we all used to do uh, for training dwarves was you make a, a room that's filled with uh, spike traps, basically. You put a bunch of like, wooden training spears in the ground, and you hook them all up to a lever. And you tell someone to just sit there and pull a lever off and on again. And then tell everyone to train in the room with all the spears. And you have to, like, train while the spears are just, like, doing a funhouse thing. And they, they get really good at dodging. Uh, yeah. I mean, you could set up, like, a fire breather forgotten beast to do something fun. Or if you want to get people to get experience being webbed. I don't know if the Words. I don't know that they get good at getting out of webs or dodging webs if they get more web practice, but it's worth trying, I guess. Hey, look, we have coffins. Not very many coffins, but we do have coffins. Okay. Um, two. Multi. These all get immediately assigned? No, not all of them. 
control that room. Okay. Who's... Who's this? It's still down here. This forgotten beast is really... <laughs> is cranking out the kills. Look at all those ants. It's still going. It's a lot of ant blood. Well, I don't want to fight it. Uh, where did that happen? Uh, uh, <laughs> okay. So some some got in. They must have come. I mean, they must. Yeah. Okay. There we go. That's what's happening. The fish. They are coming. Mm. Missing fish notifications amongst all the ant notifications. Um, so they're coming down. Unfortunate. Who was that? That was a that was a stone cutter. Uh, yeah. Oh, leave them alone! My dwarves. They've suffered enough. not need the extra trauma. Full on trauma today. Uh, how do I want to go? They're all down here, of course. <laughs> to run, I have to run across the entire length of the cavern. That's just great. Everyone, please leave them alone. They're just fully in our fortress now. No, it's a fortress with fish. It's not fish fortress yet. Give it a moment, though. Just obsidian the whole thing. Run! Run! Everyone run! Oh! Oh, they killed an engraver. Crap. Oh, are you a soldier? Kill cave fish man. You no, you're just a person with a sword. Okay, fish man. Okay. Name's Olgar. <laughs> okay. Well, <laughs> the soldiers are starting to get here. We have two. You hey, look, a child is throwing a tantrum. Oh boy, just the two of you? 
good milker. Uh oh, uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, there's so many. You're surrounded and alone and dead. We have reached the people dying faster than we can make coffins stage of things. Great. Um, no relevant skills. Novice mace dwarf. Wrestler, but you're a uh, person. Fish cleaner. You all. I make regular crossbows for my Mark Storves, or is there a training crossbow type? Just make regular crossbows, and then you can make um, like wooden bolts um, or bone bolts are good for training. Oh, but the crossbow itself is the thing. Run! Hello, Sino. Hello. Uh, we're not panicking. Not we're not panicking. Absolutely not panicking. <laughs> There's only a dozen fish in the fortress. <laughs> Come on, soldiers. <laughs> Everything's fine. Uh, oh, we're losing all of our weaponsmiths too. That's that's not good. The whole fortress with magma? We thought there was... We thought the game was chugging along before. Fuck is a great game. Frostbuck is another one of those we're definitely not panicking kind of games. Here we go. Here's some dwarves. A beekeeper. Here we go. I think I finished Frostpunk. I think I finished the base campaign but didn't do the DLC stuff. Yeah, the main scenario. I really liked it. That. Is that all the fish? Uh. Well, that's cool. I think I got them all bundled together. There's more down here. Or up? Or no. There's fish in the throne room! Well, they're not even. Okay, so they already have kill orders on some of these. still coming? I guess that's the question. They're all dead here. Oh, 
you're you're one of our people. Good. This is the furthest any hostile stuff has gotten into our fortress. I guess aside from the ant people who showed up through our throne room. This is the, this is the most that's gotten through our defenses. Ants. Ants. Who are you? Running around babbling. Um, we've got ghosts going on at the same time. It's great. Uh, did our... Okay. That got made, just not placed. Okay. There's, there's fish in the temple! They have profaned our temple. Their fishiness. When you died... Now you're alone. When I was two. You want to help? Go in? <laughs> you're... What are you doing? Just go, go in. And then run away. Ugh. Dwarves. Get back in the water. Get back where you belong. Okay. You finished that kill order. Let's check. Bunch of caged fish people. Cage fish people. Uh what about invaders? Some more. Come on. Oh, they're so good at getting over my cage traps. Oh, there's just four of them right there. Okay. Is that all of them? Uh, two of them are in water. Okay. Well, we'll do those four. I don't know what they're just hanging out there for. I really wrestled their jimmies. I was working on sealing off some of these walls. And they didn't like it. This the Gideon. Ooh, yeah, okay. Hello! It is going okay. Aside from the cavefish people who want us dead. And have infiltrated our fortress a little bit. Um, I think these four are the only ones left. They don't seem to be able to move, though. Very strange. We have some soldiers coming to kill them. But we just had a whole bunch of fish people make it into our our fortress area. Um, Riaduct. I mean, they're not happy with me, I assume. Just walking right by. Um, so I like fry uh, Just all these cancellations. Everything's a mess. This, this is a mess, is what's happening. Um, dead weaponsmith is possessing a child. gonna come and take care of that, maybe? Uh, this? Maybe? More? 
more. Well, of course. Um. So yeah, uh, we're we're plugging holes is what we're doing. We're dealing with security stuff. Um, also dealing with stuff down here. Oh look, all these. Well, what got in through here? Are these the same corpses or are these more corpses? Can't even tell anymore. These look like more corpses. Well, it's hard to say. I do not have affiliate, no. <laughs> um, I've been... Uh, yeah, my, my average viewers aren't quite high enough. I uh, haven't quite reached <laughs> three. Um, oh, well, thank you. Uh, maybe someday, hopefully. Um, not far off, I don't think. My my average is slowly creeping up. Um, I meet I meet all the requirements except for having an average of three viewers over the course of a month is how they they do it. So I just need to get my average up. But I've been doing silly things like streaming Dwarf Fortress to zero viewers for hours on end, <laughs> which hasn't done me any favors. Um. Okay, who's Forgotten Beast is still going, obviously. How many, how many kills do you have now? Oh, jeez. 118 kills. All in our fortress. This Forgotten Beast had zero kills when it showed up. And has been running around in this cave. And has killed over 120 things. Almost all ant people. And soldier ant, 14 worker ant, and their crocodiles, and oh my goodness, cherished beast, <laughs> when it gains a cult. <laughs> um, okay, let's see. Um, yeah, no worries. I mean, I'm not like, I would like to be affiliate. Because there's cool things you can do. I like some of the, the cool integrity things you can do. Um, but um, I'm not pressing for it. I'm not like, I'm not starving, I guess I should say. Uh, someone please move this so I can use it. Um, so I, I appreciate the view. I appreciate you hanging around and, and hanging out. Um, but don't. Don't feel bad, I guess is what I'm saying, because um, I don't. Um, we're, we're hanging out. We're having fun. Uh, do we have more coffins? As as I say, as I <laughs> bury an another dozen dwarves. <laughs> Everyone's having fun here. some more. We're down to 132. We were at uh, 200 not that long ago. Our, our population's going down faster than the migrants are putting them back up. You need to just come station down here. There's no way around it. Um, are people still fighting? We have a fish fighting. It's down here. Let's... I'm trying to seal off the the cave. Um, we've had quite a history with the cavefish people here. Um, oh, I should show you. Um, you're, and you're gonna come and make a mistake, aren't you? There's like only three of them. I don't want to cancel these jobs for three freaking... Cavefish people. Um, but this cave layer is filled with water, as you can tell. 
Um, in cavefish, people like to hide in the water and ambush people and drag them in and poke them. And dwarves don't like that. Uh, so I started draining the lake. And that helped a little bit, but also made things <laughs> worse in other ways. Now, they're just everywhere. We are plagued by fish people. Um, anyway, um, after draining the lake for a while, I they ended up kind of congregating into one of the deeper pools. Um, there were, last, when I did the count, uh, there were 300 cavefish people. This is a drained lake area. Um, so ultimately what happened was I pumped some magma up above the cave, and we dropped it on their heads, and we turned them into obsidian. Um, this was, this was lake, and now this is all obsidian. Um, maybe even my mind out a little bit. Um, and then I, I, I... I hacked. Um, I hacked away the the ones who didn't get uh, properly magmed. But yeah. Um, so now I I've dealt with all like literally hundreds of cavefish people that were in here. So I'm trying to put walls up so that they stop filtering in. We were down to uh, we were down to a single digit uh, FPS because of all the cavefish people. Okay. Okay. Are there more hanging around? Where's those? I need good stuff in the mines. Um. I keep meaning to crack open some uh, some of these vaults here. I haven't done so yet. I keep getting distracted by fish people. Um, but you say that uh, there's there's something there's some good there's a goodie bag here. Um, and if I got my cave my my soldiers right here, maybe I'll take advantage of that. Um, I've heard about these, but I haven't actually done one myself. Floating here. If I want. No, I. How do I want to do this? I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna mine here. Tell someone to crack open that wall, and hopefully there's nothing scary inside. Um, but we've been. We have. This is a pretty well developed fortress at this point, aside from everyone dying. <laughs> um, look at all, there's just, there are so many. Look at that. Station like right there. Everyone pile up on the wall. Um, like we have magma forges, we, we have a whole bunch of steel. A bunch of tantrums. God. It's not great. <laughs> but they're they're just so constant. Um geez. And every time we reveal a new one we get that sound effect, so it's just like constant now. Um Martial trance, <laughs> all these. Okay. Okay. We're just uh, this is the the edge of our map right here. So they're they're entering from the the edge of the map, and we're just slaughtering them as they come in. It's better than them sneaking into the water and hiding out there forever, which is what they want to do. Um. So I'm trying to I'm trying to build a wall here. Ultimately. Um, what was I saying? So I, yeah, we wanna wanna mine that while we have our soldiers here. Um, 
making sure we don't have more... The Forgotten Beast is fighting ant people in the other cave. That's fine. That cave is just sealed off completely. Um, I'm just making sure there's not more cavefish people inside our fortress. That whole group got inside before I didn't I didn't realize it because the, the ants were showing up and the cavefish people were showing up at the same time in different places. And I missed the alert for the fish people getting in. We were... These are still here. These... this squad to go of them. They seem kind of bugged. I don't know what's going on with them. <laughs> but, uh, like, they were here. This is fully inside the fortress. Uh, and they also came down here. To keep the corpses out. I don't want them rotting in the hallways. Like this? This is our throne room. This is the queen is dead, so it's not that big a deal, but like this is the queen's dining room. <laughs> it's just a bunch of dead cavefish people in there now. Um what are you doing? This is our in-progress throne room, our, our little flex cool project thing with a, a glass floor looking into the second cave layer. Hasn't caused any problems, I assure you. Um, oh, I need to deal with that possessed child. How's the monarchy? Um, yeah, they're, they're still dead. Um, uh... Well, monarchy in general or my monarchy, I guess, is the question. I don't think it's changed much since previous versions. Um, the struggle I have right now is, like, I attracted the queen. We're the capital still. But a tantrumer had an accident with our queen. Um, the, the queen had a training accident. Died. So now our civilization has another king. And our king keeps visiting, even. I've seen him. He'll come and visit to pray at our chapels. Um... But the king isn't moving here. Um, so we don't have the king anymore. Or the monarch. It's just out there. I wish it would... Um, I wish the king would emigrate. And, you know, I could make him happy. Got a big nice throne room, but... It... It won't work that way, I guess. Uh... Oh yes, oh yes, yes. Here's the world map. <laughs> In case you're wondering. Um, so the bulk of our civilizations over here, um, all these blue squares are dwarven sites. We are the dipped ceiling civilization. And then these green ones are humans. These are elves. Um, so this is kind of our home civilization, but then I went over here. This green square is us. Um, the Fortress of Elder Ring, which was randomly generated. Um, and then, yeah, um, all these red ones are the goblins that keep attacking us. Um, and then like this, this is a, a site that is economically linked to us because we, uh, because we became the capital. Now there's like, we have holdings. So these are, this is hillocks that are associated with us, but not on our map. Like I can't control them directly. Um, like I have a messenger. Uh, I'm, I'm not paying attention. Um, <laughs> our messenger's dead. We used to have a messenger, um, and we could like send them to the other sites to like demand things or, or say things or. Um, yeah, definitely. Um, I want to send more dwarves out to like attack the, the goblins. Um, that's one thing that I've been doing. I've I've had a couple of raids. Um, come here and see I sent some of my soldiers off map to go attack the goblins 
Um, and you don't control them. They just kind of leave, and then they're gone for a while, and then they come back. Um, and then, uh, and then yeah, they'll 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 find things. Um, like I want I want to I want to go attack like this one, Doom Paddles. <laughs> I'm not gonna do it right this moment because my soldiers are busy. Uh, but we can raid them, we can pillage them, we can demand tribute, we can try to conquer the site entirely. There's there's a bunch of ways to interact with with stuff that's not on the map specifically. Um, yeah, like this, the whole the whole thing about this game is that it's just way deeper than it has any right to be, right? Um, just love all the little interactions that they have. Okay. Our, our mine are coming. I just want that. <laughs> I just want them mined out. Um, oh, I don't know if we have any. Have we killed all our woodcutters? No, not quite yet. I haven't lost too many miners. Um, we have planters. We have an A Fisher Dwarf. That's fine. Um, and then everyone does. No, you should assign more weaponsmiths and train them up. We've lost some. Okay. Minera? What is a Monero? I've never... Well, it's dead now. What is a Monero? <laughs> Evil Panera. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, okay. Well... While you figure that out, I'm gonna Google Monero. <laughs> Rare, evil aligned, four armed creatures found in subterranean caverns exclusively at the second layer. Interesting. Spawn one at a time and lurk underground, occasionally pathing to your fortress and attacking dwarves who may cross their way. They're the size of a dwarf and may prove a threat to civilians, but equipped a military will make quick work of them. Okay. All Moneras are born with a legendary skill in climbing. Awful. Awful, awful. They are intelligent creatures capable of learning at half the speed of a civilized one, but not capable of speech. Because of this, dwarves won't butcher them. Extremely rarely, they can be part of the same goblin servile underclass as trolls, ogres, and blizzard men. Interesting. I've never heard of them before. Um, and it's dead now. That's fine. Um. Okay, so we're chopping trees. Is no soldiers, we just have two people here. What happened to everyone? Told you to station. All garbage. Oh, we're, we're paused. Duh. Yeah, they sure are. I was down to single digits. I was down to like two or three angry dwarves. Um, but then people started dying very quickly. Where are you going? Goodbye. I told you have a station order. Little water skin. I guess that's what you do. Capital city specifically? I mean, I guess that tracks. Um, okay. I wish someone would come and 
dig that real quick, but I mean, didn't I? Told it to be number one, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> you were slow at chopping. Uh, okay. We made some coffins. That's good. Cotton Beast is still going at it. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so now we can build a wall here. We'll be getting through our thousand granite blocks. Anyone want to dig this? We don't have anything turned on, right? No one's. Yeah, okay. Where's our. What are our miners doing? Like, half of them are supposed to be just mining. What are they doing? There's no other mining jobs going on. Maybe... Oh, they probably can't get over there. Okay. Well, let's just... Can they get there? Maybe? our ghost not been put to rest we have we're in quite a predicament um we're not like actively dying right this moment though we have been <laughs> constantly constantly but like even if everyone like even if no one dies anymore which is not gonna be what happens uh closer um we're so backlogged on jobs we have a 200 port we have 200 people's worth of tasks to do and only 132 people to do it with I don't know what's going on um i'm hoping <laughs> i'm hoping we had a microwave um that's it had been pretty consistent up until now i was getting migrant waves when i was at 199 dwarves hoping hoping they will still show up when we're at uh you know 130 dwarves there tombs Bury the people, please. I almost wonder if it attracts people. <laughs> Sometimes you'll get uh, you'll get messages with the when they when the migrant wave comes. And some and it has a couple different like ways to phrase the message. Um, so it'll say. Uh, like I've been getting, uh, some migrants have arrived despite the danger. Um, so there, there is some level of, like, what's happening in the fortress will kind of dictate who comes in. I know that food levels, we, or we had a, we were having a hard time with food to start with, but we're good now. Um, bundles and Gorlax, that's fine. Um... Yeah, I mean, you'll get monster hunters. Um, I haven't seen a monster hunter in a while, but there will be... People can come visit your fortress without being part of your civilization. Um, so, like, you'll get a human monster hunter to show up, and you can give them basically a hotel room, and they will sit around in your fortress, and they'll, they'll wander around in your caves and just looking for people to fight. That's their whole, their whole deal. 
I mean, if they they stay with you long enough, they'll they'll uh, petition to be an actual citizen if they want to be. Um, it's real cool. It's real good for like for early fortresses. Sometimes I'll just like the first thing I'll make is um, like a, a, a tavern to, to attract them. You can get decently equipped and decently skilled monster hunters that show up and will be helpful far sooner than you can get dwarves trained and equipped from nothing. Um, oh, you dork. <laughs> Mind the one and then ran off. Um, yeah, uh, I'm, I'm full of them. But also full of it sometimes. <laughs> Be wary. Um, I'm about at the I'm at the tail end of, of my time here for the day. Um, I I really just want to crack open this uh, this goodie box. I'm waiting for this miner to show up. Um, but then I'll probably be done for the day. But yeah, um, this is kind of what we've been doing. Um, I want to kind of secure the uh all cats yes is that um the cat's not around i have a cat cam she's just not here in in frame um but there's a cat who shows up every once in a while here we go you're gonna mine no, oh, dehydrated. Oh, was that our? Who is this? Oh, someone went nuts and just kind of went nuts. <laughs> just died in the temple. Lunch lacks in a tux. That's amazing. Munchlax is a good Pokemon. Oh, okay, so you mined there, but you didn't find anything. Do you need to go one more? Surely there's something in here. Give me my goodies. Give me what I assume to be goodies. <laughs> We have fewer cancellations now than we used than we did before. Sapphire. Oh, I can hover over and it shows the whole thing. Oh. Okay. Now that I see the big one. That's really cute. Shiny Teddy Ursa. I like it. What's everyone's favorite Pokemon? That's always a good conversation. <laughs> um, there is... So, Dwarf Fortress has been around for a while, um, but it, the Steam version is new. So with the Steam version, we... We now have access to the Steam Workshop, which is still blows my mind. I haven't actually downloaded anything um, on the Steam Workshop, but there is a Dwarf Fortress Pokemon Workshop mod, where it turns all the creatures in the game into Pokemon. I'm kind of tempted by it. Maybe when, maybe our next fortress will convert into a Poke Fortress. Um, Totodile and Raichu. Those are good choices. I think... I think the oldest favorite I've had was probably Gengar. Um, Gengar's been up there for a long time. Uh, like, um, I'm not going to be able to remember names now. Gardevoir is a good one. Um, cult following. Gengar has a full-on cult. <laughs> um, I also really like... Garchomp. 
is, I mean, Dragon. One of my favorite Dragon Pokemon. Duke has mandated something. Whatever it is. Okay. Here comes a miner. What are we going to find? Anything? Anything? No? <laughs> Nothing? Like, could just be empty? Maybe it's... I thought the middle would be hollow. Um, the heart kind of, they have, the heart means they were either gaining or losing happiness at that time. Um, but it'll show, it'll show it for up and down. Like this, this person is getting a, <laughs> is there something to be happy about? Shaken, reliving, suffering a major injury. So he's probably getting less happy currently. Um, I'm going to... Wait for this one tile to be mined out just to make sure I'm not missing something. But, okay, here they come. Um, sorry, going back, <laughs> chat. Uh, Etsy where they sell Pokemon terrariums. Ooh. I've seen a lot of really cool terrarium type stuff on, on Etsy. I really like that stuff. Um, okay, well, so this was a dud. There's some, some emeralds and such. Um, but I'm told these little pockets of obsidian and gems and such can can have um, have goodies in them. Oh, but now we're saving. Um, okay, I'm gonna call this basically good for the day. Um, this is gonna resume automatically once it's done saving, so I'm not gonna take my eyes off it. Um, but yeah, thanks for thanks for hanging out. On. Really t paranoid about my computer like freezing and hanging up while it's saving and losing stuff. Um, there we go. Okay, <laughs> we're good. Okay. Okay. Uh, ace. Yay! Hi. Um, so yeah, thanks for hanging out. Um, I will be resuming this door fortress fortress on Thursday. Um, I've been doing Mondays and Thursdays for Door Fortress, and then I'm doing randomized Elden Ring speedruns on the weekends. Um, and so this weekend we'll probably finish up a finish up a run. Fingers crossed. Um, so tune in if you're interested in that at all. Um, but yeah, this this is this is Unchatter. This is what I'm doing. Um, so feel free to come back and hang out, and we'll we'll chill with more more fish. Always more fish. Um, yeah, have a good evening.